Yo, so I'm gonna show you how I make billions on my store, all right? So if you see, I actually have 163 million at the moment, and I'm gonna go buy another super replicator in just a moment time. But basically, I'm just gonna show you a few things, how I've gotten this far, and uh, what you need to do. So make sure you leave a like, consider subscribing, and you know, you already know, and that there's merch in the description. So what you wanna do, Actually, no, no, no. Before I show you some tips that I've learned along the way, let me just show you, all right? Just in case people, oh, this is clickbait, 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 click. Trust me, all right? I do my fair share of clickbaiting, but this is not clickbaiting. All right, well, well technically, well, this video isn't clickbaiting because I have actually made a billion. So, wait, it's not letting me scroll in. What the? Okay, anyway. View, fourth, 1 billion, 1 1.2 billion. I've overtaken King K. King K, go, get out of here, King Kade. All right, you see that? Get on the floor. Um, <laughs> I mean that in the nicest way possible, but yeah, Kincaid, yikes, I've actually overtaken him. I think he stopped grinding, but I'm not sure. It's Vortex, you are next, my friend. You are next, all right? I need that third slot. And I'm gonna put, if I become third, I'll be pretty happy with that because Carbon Meister and Russo Talks are like a, on a battle. I don't know if I wanna interfere with uh with the two uh the big dogs like that i don't know i might i might be going into a a gunfight with a knife or going into a, a knife gunfight with a knife I, you know the saying but anyway right i got completely distracted so how to make billions uh first of all i'll show you my layout okay this is inspired by carbon meister but i've added my own few t uh, a few touches okay so yeah this is this is it if you want to copy it feel free and if you're a youtuber you know drop drop my link in the description all right help help me out okay even though i mean it's pretty much carbon meisters but i've i've added a few extra checkouts and it's kind of hard difficult to see there's like a check out there check out there check out there i've got some mini replicators in there somewhere that actually no that's a super computer there oh no that's i mean just a regular computer uh, there's, super, there's a replicator there and two super replicators at the doorway. I mean, you can try and pause this and have a look what's going on if you really want to. But uh, yeah, good luck to you because that must be that would be pretty difficult. Shout out to this guy. I don't know why he's jumping. Oh, okay, goodbye. Oh, I think his space bar's broken. Anyway, yeah, a few tips I want to point out is you want to place the 64 maximum checkouts that you can place down. Wait, what? Why did I say that so weirdly? You can place down 64 checkouts. You want to make sure you've got all 64 checkouts down. Okay, and number two. Number two, 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 two. You want to make sure you've got enough checkout. Uh, no, not checkouts. Oh, by the way, when I said checkouts, I mean cash registers. Sorry, cash registers is like an American term, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, we move. Uh, yeah, make sure you've got enough computer racks down. I don't know what the perfect amount is. I had, I had like eight at least, right? I mean, I think, or oh, eight, eight might be too many. I don't know. I had like six. Just put down some. Uh, I think Carbon Meister in his layout he has five, so I'd, I'd recommend just putting five down. Um, right, and this way you'll start earning money, but you won't be making the billions, right? And that's because it takes ages before you can actually earn the billions. And what make what turns it from millions to billions is this bad boy, all right? this what is this the replicator see i recommend buying a few of these just to speed up the process and then eventually obviously once you can afford 150 million you want to buy this the super replicator 150 million we're actually going to buy another one just because of how op these things are all right i'm telling you these things are ridiculous uh now where am i even going to do this uh how do i even want to do this I guess, you know, what I'll do is I'll wipe my floor, all right? This is actually way you can see uh, how to build it properly. And I'm also going to describe some things that are why it's been placed like that. So you see replicator, right? Your best item needs to be placed near the door because this is where the customers are going to be. This is the first spot the customers are coming in. So your OP items, you need them near the door. And I think it's actually better to place it there rather than there. I think it's quicker there. So yeah, boom. And then also I've got some smaller ones. So we'll slap those down. I guess I'll just put that one there. 
uh, and then obviously wh whichever shelf you can uh, afford not many people can afford the the computers just yet because it is quite an advanced item but just whatever shelf you can afford I don't actually know how many really I should be putting down I think four like that um, I'm not going to be placing any more shelves because these replicators actually count as shelves now here's a tip that many people don't really discuss but the amount of uh, what are they the amount of um, cash is yeah that's it the amount of cash is you have you want to have the uh, the the registers the cash registers so let me let me explain so I've got I have 21 cash registers no cash cash is so I'm going to be placing down 21 um, 21 of these normal registers right because the idea is there's no point placing more cash registers um, that are not automatic, that, that are not the self-auto checkouts. Because what's the point, all right? You've already got 21 staff members, so you only need 21 placed down. So let me place these down. Hopefully that makes sense. I think it's going to make sense to somebody. Um, I've actually kind of messed this up. I usually like to have registers at the front there. Or have them like near the outskirts but it doesn't matter right let's just place these down so yeah you want to have as many of these blue registers as how many staff you have and then what you want to do next is place down the self checkout and however cash registers you've got left you just want to fill this up with the self checkouts just like so and obviously whichever one you can afford the most I think these are the expensive ones, so you know, not everyone can afford these ones, but just whichever ones you can get down. How many more do I need to place down? Okay, boom. I think you'll probably notice this layout was different to the one before, but as long as you get this idea of it being like this, this is how you make the serious money. Uh, and what you can do, and one thing I've sort of messed up on, that I'm going to have to change, I think. Yeah, right, so one thing that you can do to make it more beneficial let me just get rid of these and these you want to have some of these blue ones at the door so like this I think I don't even had it I have it before I'm actually confusing myself so you want to have two in front of the door just so it's a quicker a quicker way for they to for them to check out right and then super replicators and then you want to place these next to the door like this I think I've only got three of them which actually makes that perfect oh my god that is that's pretty OP then you want to get your uh, your small replicators, or if you might not even have these, I don't know. Uh, just place these next to the door like that. And yeah, I don't. I'm gonna have a space open, I think. And boom, boom. Oh my god, wait! I could actually get lucky here. Oh no, I had one more. And boom. Okay, I've actually messed this up. But yeah, you want this sort of idea. I don't think the layout is semi important all right but i think if you just have your main stuff down realistically what you want to save up for is the replicators because i've noticed as soon as i start buying those as soon as i started buying those my money has uh, has gone up absolutely rapid right where's this one here we go we'll place that down there we do actually have a gap right there and i don't really know what to put it Oh, what do I want to put in there? Uh, let me see. It's always better to have a strat, to be fair. So you don't get in issues like this. I guess we'll just put these in there. Where are they? Where are you? Boom. And where's the other slot? And then boom, like that. But yeah, because I bought that third replicator, my money is going to start going up pretty quickly. And then what I can do here is I'll just replace these, those. Oh wait, let me just replace these back ones. All right, boom. So yeah, I mean, take it as you will, because this is the strat. <laughs> I know it might be a little confusing if you're new, but just carry on playing the game and just save up for the replicators. You don't, I mean, it's better to have a good layout, but if you're like stressing over a layout, don't worry about it too much. I, my game just lagged then, what the? Yeah, save up for the replicators, 
keep buying staff, you know, make sure you've got your staff fully upgraded and all that and uh, you'll eventually make billions, but it does take a while to make billions though, so you know, good luck to you. And look, we've already got 15 million again, we're already starting to earn a lot of cash.